Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We are gathered here today to remember the lives who were affected 18 years ago today. President George W. Bush delivered an address to the nation at 8.30 p.m. on September 11, 2001, regarding the attacks on the World Trade Center, the Pentagon, and the hijacked airplane that crashed in rural Pennsylvania. He begins his address by saying, today, our fellow citizens, our way of life, our very freedom, came under attack in a series of deliberate and deadly terrorist acts. The, the victims were in airplanes or in their offices, secretaries, businessmen and women, military and federal workers, moms and dads, friends and neighbors. Thousands of lives were suddenly ended by evil. These acts of mass murder were intended to frighten our nation into chaos and retreat, but they have failed. Our country is strong. Our former president, Barack Obama, said some words regarding this horrible tragedy. We know that the worst images are those that were unseen to the world. The empty seat at the dinner table, children who were forced to grow up without their mother or their father, parents who would never know the feeling of their child's embrace. Nearly 3,000 citizens taken from us, leaving a gaping hole in our hearts. That is the story of our history. Whether it's the pursuit of prosperity for our people or the struggle for equality for all of our citizens, our commitment to stand up for our values abroad and our sacrifices to make the world a safer place. Let us remember that we can do these things not just because of wealth or power, but because of who we are. One nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. May God bless you, and may God bless the United States of America. 